Hello everybody, in today's video we will be going over sections 40 and uh, 40, 41, 42, 43, that sort of stuff. Um, but anyway, it's going to be a frequent word drill and then some more of the brief forms uh, in chapter 2. So let's go ahead and get into it. Frequent word drill. Here we go. So, if, half, Age each she fear feel felt free. Fair, affair, fail, and I think I'm going to run out of room here, fail, and then, oh, chief, there we go, oh, well, don't, don't tell the officer that I had more than one drink, sorry. I should make a joke about that. But man, you call that a straight line? Woo! I'll have to go back to school. Okay, here we go. Frame. Oh, by the way, I do want to note that that word she, uh, you'll see in a lot of the um, in a lot of the copywork videos that I have been uh, writing she. I believe I write it backwards. So yet another stroke that I learned incorrectly. So I want to make you aware of that. And to not follow my lead in the in the uh, follow up drill videos, but stick with what the book has. So if she is written with clockwise motion, go ahead and write it with clockwise motion. Here we go. The rest of these frame, frame, flat. Play, plan, paper, there we go, reach, I'm going to go ahead and put reach here, back, check, well that'll work, I'll just Alternate them back and forth. Live. Bear. Bread. Shape. And finally, leave. So you see that live and leave are the exact same. And notice that we have dropped using the um, the vowel stroke delimiters. Um, that was only in chapter one. And you see that we only use it in foreign words or words which are long and complex and we need to have the stroke delimiter in there to tell us which vowel it is. So now moving on we have the word page. So page, able, break, Um, that should be just a little bit shorter. Cash. Range. Happy. Black. Trip. 
happen. Help. Should be just a little bit longer. There we go. Help. Labor. And finally, uh, so we have pretty and then even. That's pretty even. All right, so that is the frequent word drill for chapter two. And now we get into our section 40. Let me go ahead and pull that up here. Oh, no, no, we just did 40. We need section 41. 41 through 44. So let me go ahead and format that correctly. And I believe we are all set. So let's see what that looks like here on the screen. Whoop, wrong one. Select the right one. There we go. And boom. Was that beautiful? Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, here we go. Brief forms for common words. So some more of these really handy words. So we have one and one. So that is our, if you remember, that was our um, U hook, right? And then so the U versus O. U, O. So that's one after people. Look at that. Greg's ahead of its time. We've got, yo, peeps. Hey, peep. About. Most. From or form. Ben or bound. Very. Before. Much. Whoop. Never. And I never, 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 never. Was it? What's that song from uh, Alice in Wonderland, right? I never cared for the weather, for the weather, for the weather, never cared a thing for me. <laughs> All right, so there's never. Should. Over. And notice the the sign for the prefix over, written over a following character, is used to express the word over. Okay? Over. Then we have ever. And finally, every. So those are the brief forms that are discussed here in chapter 41, or at least presented. Okay, and what are the notes here? On 42, as a prefix, after is expressed by af. So if you, if it's a prefix for, let's say the word afterward or um, aftermath. So if it's a prefix, then it is simply shown by af, af, so not after f okay um in compounds every is expressed by e v so compounds like everywhere um my mind is drawing a blank right now but i'll let you come up with the compounds anyway every if it's in a compound is is displayed as e v uh, the word been followed by have, has, had is phrased and is expressed by be. So if we have have been, it's vb. Has been. Had been. There we go. So it's expressed by be. So have been has been, had been. And then our previous, uh, our business abbreviations um, are Dear Madam or DM me. No, I don't think that's what Greg was saying. DM, Dear Madam, very truly yours is V, 
and then T, T U, very truly yours, and then yours very truly, the U hook, V, and then T, yours very truly. All right, and with that, we conclude today's video on Greg's shorthand. If you like this content, then go ahead and give the video a like, share it with your friends, uh, subscribe to the channel, and um, uh, we will be producing more shorthand content shortly. Sorry for the pun. All right, take care, have a wonderful day, and go practice some shorthand. Bye-bye.